Hello, good evening. This is Naomi. So for today, I have to read the creativity. It's called 52 Creative Ideas for 52 Weeks of Fun. Okay, so um, serve creative challenge to your kids regularly. Enjoy a different creative activity. Each week with 52 creative ideas for 52 weeks of fun. Being creative with your kids is fun, easy, and important. Be sure to make time for at least one creative activity with your kids each week. Stimulating children's imaginations, listening to their ideas, and spending time doing creative activities together are keys to their success. Number one, create an art center in your kitchen. So what you have to do is organize a shelf or rolling cart with kids' art supplies and let the creativity flourish while you are nearby. Number two, turn your home into an art gallery. Purchase inexpensive frames and hang your kids' creations around the house. Tape some drawings on the ceiling above the kids to inspire their dreams. Number three, inventors create. Gather recycled materials such as old shoes, worn out clothes, buttons, and paper towel rolls. Gather craft supplies such as Crayola Model Magic, Mercurs, and Glitter's Glow. Have your child combine these items to create new inventions, identity a problem, and construct the solution. And number four, pass along story. Have your child create a multi-page illustrated storybook. Start with a tile and cover page, then pass the book along to another family member who will write and illustrate the first page. Continue to pass the book around, giving each family member several chances to see what has been added and bring a new twist to turn to the plot. And number five, our favorite recipes. Think about your family's favorite foods. Have your child write a recipe book illustrated with pictures that show how much of each ingredient's Ingredients is needed. Make photocopies to share with relatives. So, these are the activities that you have to do for 52 days. Okay, so continuation. Number six, color nature walk. So, that's the title of your activity that I'm going to share. Get exercise and strengthen your kids' observation skills by enjoying a nature walk and looking for all colors of the rainbow while outdoors. Collect twigs and leaves. Have your child use these natural items as paint brushes. When you return home and paint a collaborative mural, urge your child to paint what was seen. Yeah. So number seven, draw funny foods and favorite flavor combos. Okay, create a family favorite foods and funny flavor combination posters, combinations posters, poster, I mean, on the refrigerator. Use a large piece of paper and outline shelves. Have your child add to those shelves everyone personal favorite entry, dessert and beverage, with a unique twist. Mix and must favorites, creating imaginative new combination like chocolate, store or fruit salad pieces. Who knows what unique food flavors may be the next big hit. All right. So number eight, sock puppets. Gotta worn out or unmod socks to make a family of socks. Puppets. Have your child use fabric markers to add facial expression, uh, expression, I mean, facial expression, hair, and outfits. Develop a puppet show that is based on a theme 
or an improvisation. Every family member can play a part. That's all you guys have to do. Okay. Number nine, overcoming obstacles. Have your child sketch an obstacle course that uses blankets, boxes, chairs, and other household items. Build the course according to plan. Practice moving through and around the object. See problems. Modify the course as needed to find play that is built on their creative ideas. Imagine, number 10, imagine dinosaur pets. Um, what if your next pet was a dinosaur? How would it change your house, yard, neighborhood? Have your child draw a picture of your house remodeled to accommodate this new pet. And number 11, time traveler arrives from ancient time from ancient times. Have children pretend they have never seen an airplane before? Who are these people existing from the belly of the huge, it's called Mittelberg? Ask children to draw where they think the people came from. What interesting stories can be imagined, can they imagine, that might explain how this big vehicle flies to the air? And that's what I did at home, guys. Oh, my gosh. I just tried this new activity. So, Saturday nights, BTV before television. Yes, believe it or not, there was a time when families did not sit in front of a television seat or DVD player to be entertained. As your child to interview elderly people, friends or relatives who may remember these times. Have them draw what the invasions as a fun Saturday night family activity that may have been common before television were invented. So number 13, new super healthy, best tasting breakfast. So have your child imagine they are responsible for inventing a new breakfast food is highly nutritious fast to fix, and most importantly, kids' favorite. What would this new food be made of? What would it be named? Create an advertisement that will show other kids good it is. And number 14, harvest hunt. Have your child use crayons or markers to draw and cut out fruits and vegetables, then have them hide the cutouts around the house. Challenge friends and family to go on a treasure hunt harvesting these foods. Bring back what was collected and ask your child to imagine new recipe inventions that combine some of these tasty treats. Pick one of the new recipe and make it with real fruits and vegetables. Number 15. Funny Frame Faces Insert a family member's photo or a photocopy of the photo into a plastic picture frame. Have your child use Crayola window markers to draw on the front of the frame, embellishing the photo. So they can add wild hair, funny features, or any embellishments to the picture. When finished, remove the picture and wipe off the front of frame. Number 16, imaginary vehicle. Find a large recycle large bag, such as an appliance bag. Ask your child to decorate it to look like a fantastic new vehicle that can travel in magical ways. Perhaps it is a boat that flies or a rooftop hopper that enables people to hop from one rooftop to another. Have your child design the vehicle and then you go on an imaginary adventure using it. So number 17, Backyard Talent Show. Discover the hidden performance talents of your friends and family. Ask your child to draw a program inviting guests to the evening event and to the card costume fitting the performance roles. 
enjoy an evening filled with magic tricks, music, and dance. So, number 18, wrapping special wishes. Forget about the presents we buy each other. The best gifts we can give family members and close friends are the special wishes we have for them. Have your child draw or write special wishes for a wish exchange. Tuck them in a box and create personalized wrapping paper that hints at the kind thoughts inside. Share this treasure. Number 19. Stars come to our restaurant. Have your child imagine your kitchen is transformed into a fancy restaurant. What is the name and cuisine? Ask your child to draw menus, help prepare, and then serve the, uh, the meal. Pretend you are a famous guest. Who would you like to be? A movie star? <laughs> Celebrity, music, or historical hero? That's... That's our song. Okay, number 20 is That's Our Song. With your child, pick a favorite song and customize the lyrics to insert family members' names or tell a personalized tale with, with that tone. So write and illustrate your new version to make sure you remember the two. I mean, you, rem you remember the words the next time you try to sing it number 21 our money create your own family currency what do your dollars look like ask your child to make some money and create a playful way to buy and pay for special service for example how much family fund money would that be for kids to bring the newspaper into the house. How much would the kids pay to pick out a movie to watch? Teach math and budgeting skills with a special creative flair. Okay, number 22, dream car. Have your child design a new car that fits your family while this dreams. Love the bitch, right? Then design a card that serves the weeds always in a hurry how could your new car fly worried about gas price design a car run on alternative fuels use modern magic to show the new shape and functions of this special author so number 23 of our creative ideas perfect planet <laughs> i love this Pretend that scientists just discovered a new planet in a faraway galaxy. They call it the perfect planet. Since life on the planet is ideal, ask your child what they imagine when they think of this new place. What would it look like? What planets and animals would there be? How would they get along? What would make this planet so unique? So... When you are making your activity, you need to be creative. <clears throat> so number 24, comic strip hero. <clears throat> so have your child pretend they are the new superhero in a comic strip. <laughs> Ask them to draw themselves and create a unique costume. What are they known for? Who helps them? Who do they triumph over? Have children draw a few comic strips that show their special powers and the problems they solve. Number 25. Curious Creatures Ask your child to take an imaginary adventure exploring some unknown part of our planet. To their surprise, they discover a creature that is unlike anything seen before. What does it look like? What does it eat? How does it move? What is it called? Use modern magic to show what the creatures look like. Have your child write and illustrate a newspaper article announcing the new discovery. So number 26, the other side. Sometimes a simple change in a direction 
in direction gives a whole new look have your child experiment drawing using the hand they don't usually use suggest they drew a new type of furniture or an animal then have them switch uh, have them switch to their dominant hand and add embellishments to finish the picture ask them how starting with the other side give them a different beginning all right so number 27 you are what you eat <laughs> so every child has at least one or two favorite foods tell them to draw a person made up of their favorite foods perhaps one has pasta hair and donut eyes would the arms be eyes cream cones or chicken drumsticks how would his or her self portrait be different if only healthy food were included you have to be asking them about that so number 28 mona lisa smile find a picture of a mona lisa for a child to examine what could she be feeling then let them paint a portrait of a family member or close friend capturing the feelings they think the person shows so number 29 pits in charge sit up this scenario what if it rolled everything imagine if dogs run the school and cats run the grocery stores what pit would be president what if humans what pit would Hmm. I mean, what if human jobs were all focused on serving the pits that were in charge? I mean, sorry guys, I made a mistake. Then have them draw the scene from their imagination. Number 30, up, up, and away. Have your child imagine they are traveling high in the sky with a hot air balloon. Ask them what they see when looking down. Have them draw the neighborhood from continuation from bird's eyes view what different types of landforms and waterways do they see how the rooftop swimming pools cars and people look different from this point of view so for number 31 the activity is called color changes have your child imagine everything turn a shade of their favorite color does he love lavender is she partial to periwinkle? Then they can paint a landscape where everything is shade of the favorite color. Or what if the color all switch around and green turn red and yellow turn blue? Ask them to paint a scene where all the colors switch. So number 32, combo creatures. If kids could combine different animals into one with lots of mix-up features, what would they create? Would they combine an elephant trunk, a skunk stripe, a monkey's tail, and a duck's wave feet? What might this animal be able to do that it couldn't, that it couldn't do before? Have your child pick an animal and add a variety of features features give their i mean give their combo creature a new name and then they can create an advertisement explaining why this new creature has benefits the original animal they didn't have number 30 <laughs> sorry number 33 come along to a deserted island okay that's the title of your activity to be creative to be creative okay um for this activity all you have to do is if your child was stranded on a deserted island but could plan for it what would he or she pack who would they invite when would they decide to come back have them draw a scene of their time away, enjoying the special trip away from everyday routines. Shadow pals, number 34. So go outside with your children on a sunny day and reacquaint yourselves with your shadows. Stretch 
and see how your shadows imitate you. What if your shadows became your personal pals and see? I mean, what if your shadows became your personal pals and could see, hear, taste, and smell? Use Crayola Color Explosion to draw your shadows experiencing new adventure with you. So 35 Palo and Ant. On a warm day, go on a walk with your child and find an ant outdoors. Follow this tiny creature for a while until it enters a space you can peek into. Then ask your child to imagine how the world looks to that ant. What would our shoes look like to the ant? As it carries, I mean, as it scurries away. What does a big, juicy, juicy watermelon look like to an ant that is so tiny? Have them draw a scene from that ant's point of view. So you have to be creative. Number 36, choose wells. What if your child had more choices at the shoe store? Do they want a pair of shoes with customized wheels or with special powers so they could walk on water or through the air? What if the new pair of shoes special power chains based on their needs? If your child is a hurry, is in a hurry, I mean, though they want shoes that can sprout wings and fly, can you can your child reach the top shelf? Try the elevator shoes that make them taller. Your child can now draw a picture of people wearing the new design. Okay. For number 37, the activity called Create a New Holiday. Oh, I love holiday. Everyone loves holidays. Special times to celebrate an event or tradition. Enjoy special foods and gather with family and friends. What if your family could celebrate a new holiday that your child event invents? Let your child plan a celebration. What is the theme and name of the holiday? Create decorations. Plan the food. What new tradition would be part of this holiday? Would you repeat this holiday annually? Who would be invited to this celebration? And it, you have to say enjoy. Wake up and smile. If your child could invent a new way to wake people up, to help those who aren't early risers or who are grumpy in the morning, what would it be? Remember, happy places or special days that your family enjoys. How can those ideas sound a picture help people wake up happily? Perfect playground is our number 39 activity. Have your kid design the playground of his or her dreams. What equipments would it have? How would it be different from other playgrounds? They can draw the area as use model magic to make miniature rides, benches, tree houses, and other playground items. So number 40, if pigs could fly, that's the title of your activity to make it. What if pigs everywhere sprouted wings and learned how to fly? Your child could create a model <laughs> magic, pig, magic pig with wings and write a story about the bizarre flight the pig experiences. Watch out birds and airplanes. There is a new creature taking to the sky. Kids can... Imagine what farmers have to do to keep their in to keep their livestock on the farm. What if a pig landed on a rooftop for the rest? Yeah, right. So number forty one. Aliens visit the grocery store. Give them the scenario that aliens from outer space just landed on the earth and found themselves in the middle of a grocery store. They can then draw a scene. What would the alien think might they mistake? 
So number well, um, wait continuation. Might they mistake grocery shops as a new garden where we grow food? Would they wonder how we open the canned goods? What question would they ask and what funny thoughts might they think if this was their first introduction to the planet Earth? So number 42, drawing to the music. Use crayons or markers and a big piece of plain paper torn on music that has various styles and beats. Try some classical jazz, rumba, and salsa. Mob your arms to the music while drawing. How do the line and patterns look different based on the musical inspiration? So number 43 activity is called sitting pretty. Find an old wooden or metal chair that is all ready to be recycled. Allow your child give it new life with a new coat of paint and a lively pattern following a favorite theme. With flowers, polka dots, or stripes, or with names in fancy litter, use acrylic paint which is permanent when dry okay or if younger children are involved let them use a washable paint that you can then coat with a clear sealant number 44 spies are us i love that get your child to create mystery mission that involves secrets and spies if kid had to save grown-ups from getting the serious or working too hard, what could they do? They can pretend they are secret agents working on a special mission. I mean, not mission. Special mission. Even develop codes for writing message. Um, challenge them to know how and when the mission is accomplished. So for 45, number, I mean for, nine, for number 45, our activity called Our Family Magazine, okay? Create your own family magazine. Let your child assign someone to draw the illustration and take pictures. Some, they can have someone else conduct interviews and write articles. What topics would the family magazine cover? Perhaps news about the families, favorite outing or movie reviews. They could include um, recipes or snack tips. How about some family history or personality reviews? Would, would there be advertisement in the magazine? If so, what might they want the family to advertise? Does someone babysit or run a dog walking business? Let them control the production of the magazine. How many copies would you, I mean, how many copies would they need? Would relatives, family, friends, or neighbors want a copy of the complete publication? If so, let them photocopy or use the computer printer to create multiple copies. Okay, so number 46, growing up to be. This activity is very good. Ask your child to imagine what they will be doing 10 or 20 years from now. Have them draw pictures of what they look like and write where, I mean, and write a description of where they live what jobs they might have, and how they'll be the same or different from who they are today. So number 47, pack my bags, I'm ready to go. If a child could vacation anywhere on the globe, where they go? Would they go? Where would they go? I mean, <laughs> it's kind of blurry. So ask them to draw a picture of what they would expect to see on the strip. Why did they pick this destination? What sites do they want to see and what adventures would they expect to have? What unique foods and tasty treats would they want to try? And then for the activity number 40, but it's light out. Where the child look at the map, 
of northern Canada or Alaska find some location where the light slides near live 24 hours in the summer. Ask your child to imagine living in a place where the sun stayed out until very late at night. Together, write and illustrate a humorous story about a young child who doesn't want to go to bed until it is dark outside. Include the solutions that the family comes up with to help the youngest, I mean the youngster, go to sleep. Okay? So number 49, sidewalk comic strips. That's our activity to, to make. Or that's our activity. <laughs> Sorry guys, kind of sleeping right now. Okay, 49, sidewalk comic strips. On a warm day, give your kids Crayola sidewalk chalk or sidewalk paint to create an outdoor comic strip. First, have them think about the characters the comic strip will feature. So what, so what is the plot or the exciting story will happen to these characters? Is there going to be trouble? Who stops the trouble? Does the comic strip have a happy or funny ending after planning out the tale? They can draw or paint it on the sidewalk. So number 50, enter for enchanting spells. Tell your child to imagine what the door to their rooms cast an enchanting spell on all who enter. Do they want to make a people dance? All who enter will develop dancing talents. Do they love to read? Stacks of books will rain down in the room. Create a door sign for their room that warns every one of the magical powers that transform all who enter. Can cover you can cover the door with plain wrapping paper, then draw decoration and write words that express what others need to know about these magical spells. Number 51. Imagine no batteries or electricity. Does your child know there was a time when there was no batteries and no electricity? What games would you, I mean, what games would they have played? Let them interview elderly relatives about their childhood games to give them some ideas to create their own kid-powered games. <laughs> so, number 52. On butterfly wings, have your child invention flying on a butterfly's or bird's, uh, bird's wings. What would it be like for them to soar through the air? Enjoying this beautiful creature adventures, your child can then draw what the garden and house look like from this point of view. Where would they go? How would the wing creature communicate? It's fun, guys, I tell you. So, those are uh, the stimulating children's imagination, listening to their ideas, and spending time doing creative activities together. Okay? That's all for tonight, guys. And I hope you like my uh, activities that I share here online um, have a good night everyone enjoy